Hello everybody! Some of our customers are really interested in turning Simon 400 cooling management still into liquid management column. We have a solution for one and a half inch distillers and basically you don't have to buy anything after purchasing this kit. Or if you have a distiller like this, same situation because uh, these uh, cooling management setups are really popular everywhere. <laughs> The kit consists of uh, extension pipe 650mm long, SPP packing for two extensions, roller valve, a liquid management unit and spiral product cooler with side glass. So let's build liquid management column, I will go step by step. Well, in this video episode, I'm using this lid with 2 inch clamp installed. Well, I don't have a lid with 1.5 inch, that's why uh, it's look like this. And I don't have a usual reducer, so I'm using the side glass, which has 1.5 inch on the top and 2 inch from the other side. So this uh, thing works as a reducer. Well nothing too crazy about it, just to tell you why it's looking a little bit strange. Firstly, we need to change the packing inside the extension pipe of Stillman 400. Basically, you just have to leave one roll of stainless steel mesh packing in the end of each extension and add SPP inside of them. Then first extension is the smaller one, second extension, which is from this kit. I, it's kind of important to install by this way, so you're able to see the temperature in the upper side of your column. You can do it differently if you like. So from here I just need to install a liquid management unit and condenser. I take the product condenser and install it on the top, so it will work as a reflux condenser. A few parts are remaining, a holder for product cooler and a roller valve. You probably can see the product cooler can be installed any way you like to operate. And it's all because of this removable holder, so you can attach it lower and you just need to add some silicone hose between units. So a few words about how water connection is happening over here. Yeah, inlet for the water is lower tip of the product cooler, yeah, upper tip is for the jumper and jumper goes to the lower tip of the rig flux condenser. And the upper tip of the rig flux condenser is outlet, so the same uh, water connection as in other hours uh, two inch or one and a half or three inch liquid management columns. We're ready to go. I have 10 liters of 40% ABV low wines inside of my boiler and we just need to heat it up with maximum power we have. Alright, next step is to cut four shorts and hands. As I usually recommend, you can check the amount of four shorts I have and hands by typing in the app for Android or iOS or find out with your smell on this column, which is also pretty easy because SPP packing will really 
make the high proof and you were able to understand the cut between four shots, heads and hearts if you like so. Well, by adding three clamp over here, I make it just a little bit oh, heavy weight so it won't fall from the holes. While we're waiting for the end of the collection process of four shots and heads, let's talk a little bit more about the column and the maximum power for this setup. It's going to be about 1400 watts, yeah, and if you go if you're gonna go high at that power, you will have the choking and you probably don't want to have it in your column. So I'm staying with power of 1300 watts and it's absolutely enough to run this column. So I would personally recommend you choosing 1000 or power up to 1300. So let's regulate the speed of connection. I take my hand and adjust speed. It's very easy on the steel and very straightforward. You open the roller valve and you see the amount of drops. And you just regulate as you prefer. Yeah, I think it's gonna be fine for me. At any time you can adjust it. Also the holes can be, uh, can get hot. It's absolutely fine. So this amount will reduce. So you have to regulate maybe twice during the 15 minutes of, uh, uh, after we start collection. Yeah, so it's pretty, pretty easy. Here we go, I've collected a needed amount of four shorts and hairs, so let's open the needle valve and start collect product. Next step is to regulate the speed of collection and we need to look at these temperature points. This temperature has to be stable at least 30 minutes. If it's stable, then it means that we've chosen a right speed of collection. And I just open it to have lots of drops per second. Yeah, it probably we're gonna regulate about 1900 milliliters or a liter an hour. Again, if the temperature rises up at this point, it means that the speed of collection has to be reduced. Also check your power regulator, maybe it's not stable enough or key other, any other heating source you have while you're running on this type of distill. Let me adjust uh, the still and calculate how much alcohol we have an hour. So I adjusted collection to one liter an hour of neutral spirit and let me just check the ABV of the alcohol. As usual, I take a huge cylinder with a professional hydrometer for understanding what's the ABV. So I've collected enough to add this hydrometer. Yeah, the product absolutely cold. Yeah, I 
That's pretty good, 96.6. Let's check the temperature. So here we go, I got 96.4 ABV, so it's pretty good, very good actually. We're having a 1 liter an hour of very pure product, as you can see, really neutral spirit. And yeah, if you want to have a little bit more alcohol, yeah, for example, like one and a half liter, and you find with having 95% ABV alcohol during the whole distillation process, then fine, just increase the uh, product collection so open the needle valve more but understand that that your product is not as neutral as it can be well you see there's uh, many ways you can use this equipment and if you need if you need like the most pure product well make it like one liter an hour and you'll be fine a great solution for people who have one and a half inch distillers actually cooling management stills so by choosing this equipment this kit you turn your distiller into liquid management column easily when should you make a cut between hearts and tails the pretty easy on this distiller you can check by your smell check by abv of the product you're having uh, if it's going down so you probably already not enough you don't have enough alcohol in your column and your boiler as well and also the most important thing you can look after the temperature in your column so if it's rising up for 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 degrees it means that you don't have enough alcohol inside so or maybe the needle valve is not is not working well but if the whole distillation process it was fine then you're close to the end obviously need close the needle valve and finish the collection of hearts and maybe finish the distillation process yeah pretty easy so i've collected three and a half liters of 96.4 abv alcohol so pretty good result very uh, good quality of spirits yeah absolutely clean and smooth and i'm happy with that as you see that this kit is very easy to operate same in the whole other range of our equipment and for this setup you we only recommend you to have accurate heating supply yeah for example the heating element with a regulator which you can adjust and be stable with the whole distillation process that's it for today if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comment section or write us directly we'll be glad to answer and help if you have one and a half inch cooling management steel, which is modular, write us so we can check your equipment and if it fits your distiller. Thank you for watching. Happy distilling!